Welcome to the DIY3DTech.com channel. Welcome to this edition of DIY3DTech.com. This episode, we've got the laser um, basically roughed in. Uh, as you saw in the last couple videos, we got the motors working. We've now configured it. I have from the past video switched back from uh, 1 16th step to 1 8th step. I've used the garble configurations. I'll put those as an overlay in the video. Basically, it's uh, 40.2 um, steps per millimeter for both uh, X, X and Y axis. So uh, there's no Z, obviously, so we don't have to set those. So that's working good. Again, I'll post the garble configuration on, on the uh, uh, website. Also, um, in setting up the shield, uh, it took me a little bit to figure out the pin settings for the uh, a pulse width modulation. And, uh, well, the short answer is it's Z negative seems to work. Again, running ground over to here on the laser driver board. Uh, for some reason, it took several iterations to make this work. So I also did do a little bit of modification to the garble files. Um, I don't think anything major. I am running, I think, 9i uh, on the Arduino. So everything seems to be working now. I've got the laser now, as you can see, uh, mounted on here. So uh, basically what I want to do is um, I'm going to run some test cuts on it so you can see how it goes. The other thing that I think is worth mentioning is setting the distance here and here, both on the left and right side. This, this is the front, by the way. And um, uh, because this can get jacked a little bit out of shape, um, I think it actually, you know, still holds sort of true because it moves in lockstep. Because remember, we've cloned, these two motors are cloned in the CNC shield. Um, so that seems to work. But what I've done is I've started, um, you know, I measured before I started it that, that they're both the same distance and they're origined off there. I'm using still the same tile as a, a backside because it will burn the uh, MDF on the bench here so that I have going on. So again, I've got the tile underneath here. And I'm just going to cut out a stencil on this 80-pound bond paper with the laser. I do have the laser set to basically zero uh, to align it to that, quarter, that corner home position. So what I'll do is I'll actually uh, switch to time lapse and we'll begin uh, recording the cut so you can see how it cuts. Uh, and again, I'll have a lot of the configuration for the, the garble settings uh, and the pin uh, settings. I'll put them up on the video in YouTube as well as uh, some more on the website. I do have to still kind of clean all this up. However, one of the big things I want to do is just kind of make sure everything is, is working before I start kind of figuring out how to put the pieces together. I still also want to build some sort of um, mount something down here. As I was mentioning before in another video, to kind of blow the fumes or suck the fumes in, in, into a air purifier because uh, it does get a little bit smoky. So, okay, I'm going to switch over to time la lapse and do some cutting. Well, here we are. We're back. We've cut out the stencil. Uh, pretty good, except for the H. Um, one of the things that I've come to discover about this particular laser, anyway, is it's, a, as I understand it, a multi-mode laser. Um, it's actually, ta the original diode is taken out of a small projector, I guess. And it, it, the, um, the curve on it is actually rather large. Uh, I'm going to be doing, I think, a video segment on lasers in general because one of the things is it actually focuses to a bar pattern rather than a dot. Even though the bar is really, really small, um, one of the things, and I'm trying to get get this up in here, is you can see it cut out the center of the H. Now the D is just, you know, I mean, just barely made it, and the H was supposed to be the same, but the the width of the beam actually burned through it because it's so thin. So I think this one thing I'm going to have to adjust have to adjust in the tooling setting is the uh, width of the beam uh, because really it should be a dot. Now I've ordered 
actually another smaller laser, I think a, a 405 nanometer, and this is a, a 445 nanometer uh, laser. And the biggest thing is, is the, the smaller one is supposed, is not a multi-mode laser, so it actually focuses to a dot. And my understanding is actually, even at only a half a watt, it should do pretty much near what this 2 watt laser will do because of the focusing. Now, I have tried different lenses, um, actually I think three different sets of lenses, and they all basically, you know, work out the same, and then that's where I've, I finally found on the internet about the multi-mode laser. So again, I think I'll do a a segment on lasers here in the near future, but anyways, um, the machine, as you can see, is working. Um, so that's rather impressive from being basically built by scratch with just some rough models off the internet. And again, I'll put the uh, the garble stuff below. And also, please don't forget uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, also hit the like button. Really appreciate it. It doesn't cost you anything, and it really helps us out. You know, not asking for any money in making these videos, but again. Uh, Put, you know, subscribing and, and pushing the like button at least to really help us out. So uh, please contribute at least in that way. Cheers and see you in the next video.